Well, look, before we go, I mentioned to you recently that April 11 was the 80th anniversary of the Rats of Tobruk. Between April and August 1941, 35,000 Allies, including 14,000 Australian soldiers, were besieged in Tobruk by German Italian Army commanded by General Rommel. A propagandist for Germany, William Joyce, better known as Lord Haw Haw, began describing the besieged men as living like rats in underground dugouts and caves. He derisively referred to the garrison as the Rats of Tobruk. Well, today the Rats of Tobruk hold an important place within the ranks of our returned servicemen. There are only 17 of the 14,000 rats still with us. One of them is Ernie Walker at 105. Ernie said, quote, I suppose I can look back on a career and be proud of my service and being one of the last rats of Tobruk still knocking about. Well, the one growth industry in Australia today, of course, is the offence industry. How would such people have survived what Ernie survived? A fuselage of shells and tanker attacks by the hour. The rats were encircled in stifling heat or freezing nights. Ernie was asked what he feared most. He said, I was afraid my mates would see that I was afraid. 900 mils of water a day for drinking, cooking and bathing. That's six glasses of water. But Ernie said at the weekend he bore no animosity to the enemy. He said they were doing their job, we were doing ours. I remember in the one night, he said, we and the Germans sang Lily Mullane. We could hear their singing over the foxholes. So we joined in. Ernie at 105 remembered, and I quote, at the end, they couldn't get us. We wouldn't surrender. We were fair dinkum. The rats of Tobruk. The German-Italian army, as I said, was commanded by General Rommel. Before his death, Rommel is purported to have said, if ever I had to capture hell, I'd use the Australians to take it and the New Zealanders to hold it. Ernie Walker, born in inner Sydney's Forest Lodge, was awarded an OAM in 2016 for service to the Rats of Tobruk Association. Hardly enough, don't you think? We honour people like Ernie Walker, one of the last living Rats of Tobruk, who turned 105 last Thursday, which prompts the question, where would we be without heroes like Ernie? My thought for the night, and I quote, a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles.